anticipated matchup for the UFC middleweight division title. Looking to become the UFC middleweight champion of the world, here he is, the number one middleweight contender. For a long time, this man has been one of the best 85ers in the world, but this title fight eluded him. It is here right now, he is healthy, he is smack dab in the middle of his prime, and he believes he is the best 85er in the world and is out to prove just that tonight and walk away with 12 pounds of UFC gold. So here's the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world making the walk, looking to defend his title. It is certainly something that he's been able to do in the past. He has been challenged on this title run. It's not as though he has run roughshod through this division, but they're all still chasing him at 185 pounds tonight. At least on paper, could be his most difficult challenge to date. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is one year the elder. He is three inches taller. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. Now here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, only professional record of 26 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Presenting the challenger, Sean Strickland. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a look-see new fighter, only a professional record of 27 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the reigning, defending UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, John! All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is not going to radars for quite some time tonight it shall be done both guys well-rounded you think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? you just don't know right you don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to this is a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other 
All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. All right, feet on the hips here. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position up the bottom. The Kimura is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. He might get a finish here. Oh. And the turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. Defense there. All oh, right to the mount. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend, or the referee's going to stop. The you got to defend. But you can see him now start to gain posture, and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage on. So we cross the 30-second mark in our opening round. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Jones. Now the guy's got on bar. He's attacking it on him. And attacking on bar. All right, let's look back at some of the action. DC, your good friend Mark Coleman, the godfather of the ground and pound, would be proud. He'd be very proud. He'd be very proud with the way that he showed his ability to use his grounding pound. He didn't waste any action. He did everything he needed to do. He was able to posture. He was able to control risk. He did everything perfectly in his approach in that ground and pound sequence. All right, here we go with our next round. And DC, you've spoken a lot about ground and pound skills and how it's a little bit of a lost art in modern day mixed martial arts. Certainly not for this one. No, and he does it the old school way, right? Yeah. Now, nowadays, you push a guy to the side of the outcome, they use it as a barrier to get up. Right. Not with this guy. He stuffs your head in the corner, he gains his posture, and he just starts dropping hammers, dropping hammers, until eventually you're going to turn to your knees, he'll take your neck and choke you, or he'll just put you back down. It's... Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. in and secures the takedown. Oh, nice. Oh, look at this. Jumps over in the side mount to try to counter the guillotine. Maybe going with that Von Flute choke, or I guess we should probably call it the OSP at this point. submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory.
So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the UFC middleweight champion of the world, your winner by submission tonight. And it is gonna take a spectacular effort to dethrone this guy at 185 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at one minute, 38 seconds of pound number two. For the winner by submission, and still, the undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, John Jones! All right, so a lot of people thought the number one contender was gonna get it done tonight. Not the case, and still UFC middleweight champion of the world, and uh, I think he wants to slow all of that roll when it comes to somebody taking his title. Yeah, absolutely. This guy has desires to be a long-reigning champion. A champion that held onto the belt like the great Anderson Silva did before him. This guy looks to have all the tools to be a long-reigning UFC champion.